Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. And welcome back in here as they look at Tyler right now with our Skyview camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We're off to a quiet start this morning. It's warm. It's humid. It's going to get a lot wetter though this afternoon. Temperatures right now sitting at 68 degrees. The dew points at 64. So you'll notice that humidity as you step out the door this morning. Uh, we're also seeing a few showers now along inner state 30. Those showers will expand as we head throughout the day, along with some thunderstorms as well, especially as we head into the afternoon now. So temperatures are going to be uh, uh, climbing a little bit more interesting today than typically speaking because of the cold front moving on through. We're going to see the high temperatures today in the in the late morning and early afternoon for us as opposed to the mid afternoon like we typically see, and that's because of the cold front moving in from north to south. But with that cold frontal movement in deep east Texas, it's going to take a little bit longer for that front to arrive, so you're likely to still see high highs in the upper 70s and low 80s there and you'll reach those high temperatures where we typically see the highs in the mid afternoon. But overall, we'll see those temperatures dropping this evening pretty quickly out there with that rain continuing across the area. Here's what Futurecast has going forward. We'll see those showers and storms really fire up between about 11 and 12 this morning and then by 3 p.m. we're seeing some widespread showers and thunderstorms and then deep east Texas eventually gets in on the mix this evening and into the overnight hours. It's going to be a steady rain, heavy at times, along with a few rumbles of thunder. But these will be elevated thunderstorms here, so they're not expected to be severe. But the thunder could be loud at times here if there is any moving through. We'll see conditions gradually improve through your Friday morning. Your morning commute Friday in deep east Texas may still be on the wet side, but for the most part, we'll be drying things out out there. We may even see some breaks in the cloud cover in the northern two thirds of our area heading into Friday evening. Overall, the rain won't be as steady for the football games on Friday, although we cannot rule out a few showers out there, especially especially in deep east Texas. By Saturday morning, we're seeing partly to mostly cloudy skies. In terms of rainfall totals with this event, Thursday into Friday, we're picking up one to two inches in the dark green area. And then in deep east Texas, is about a half an inch to an inch of rain expected. Now for deep east Texas, we'll get another storm system moving in over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So we'll likely add to those totals. But the numbers you see on the screen there, that's just for Thursday and Friday's storm system. Now as we take a look at your seven day forecast, we are going to see a chance for some isolated showers lingering on into the day on Saturday. It's a lot cooler highs only in the 50s Friday and Saturday will slowly warm up next week, but still uh, staying cool with the isolated shower as possible Monday into Tuesday for deep east Texas. It is more of the same. Look for higher rain chances, though, on our Veterans Day on Saturday, and that rain continues into the first half of next week. Oh man, can't complain about that. Shoot, if it's going to cool down a little bit, the 80s, we hit what, 80, 87, 88? Yeah, some, some spots yeah. made it to the upper 80s yesterday and the mm -hmm. day before, so it's yeah. been very warm. I, th I think we're all ready to kind of push away from the uh, It's time the to 80s. get to where we need to be before Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, gonna, it's time. It's going to finally feel like fall next week, and then by the end of next week, we'll probably be back into the 70s. So. Yeah, we all can, right. I think we can manage with the 70s. Yeah, yeah. I think well, we can handle that. Perfect, perfect weather for some hot coffee, hot cocoa coming up soon.